There we go. Okay, so it's some kind of range law, Kimika. Fine makes more sense than... I don't know about swapping Rhythmic Arc for Silent Icebreaker. I think Rhythmic Arc is really strong as a comeback mechanism for this match. Um, I also think Fade Light is good for disrupting Himika. So, my instinct is that Black RZV is favored to win this match just because Ryan Jr. didn't bring enough attack cards for his deck. I feel like if Ryan Jr. had Magnum or Gentle Snow, it would be significantly more easy. Okay, opening with the 2 1. Full range. There's no follow up. Really just want to recover your aura and get forward moving in. Might be worth uh, throwing out a poison just to sabotage Himika's Inferno. Immediately on the turn one might have been better there because Muscle Relaxing can still be used to Inferno trigger uh, Vermilion Field. But stopping Himika from attacking is also probably worthwhile. So, good chance it doesn't get played. Oh, rip. Now to Inferno Trigger here. Probably fine to get... I don't know, just two Shadow to start with. That's going to be reversed. Anti. Playing backstep there will have audited out Ryan's deck, so I'm going to have a harder time. Well, he's not really going to be able to draw the rest of his deck, I guess. Next turn, he's going to have to reshuffle. A red bullet. Inferno is now active, so he's got a three two. No real target for backdrop, but you can still play it for the flinch if you want. Really not sure about the muscle relax and play. Pulling two from your own aura. Pretty costly. And there's no shadow for your main peak unless you have the flare for it anyway. So silent approach almost gets a uh, black RZV in range by itself. 
and does effectively grant idea. So he can use silent approach to just sweep in and swing rush right up the gate. Strange. Oh, okay, we did get fade light back in here. Well, this fixes the problem with Ryan Jr. A audit out deck. I wasn't sure that he had brought that special. That's actually going to be an effective one in this matchup. The way Himika can potentially play around it is by emptying out all her aura. Okay, so the effect of range is now 6. So Swing Rush should take 2 life. There's a chance it takes two life, two aura, and then you can get two more life with Kunai. You don't have to worry about a counterattack from your opponent because you have muscle relaxant on them. This is exactly what you want to see. You get two more life damage immediately. Okay. CV considering misbaining here for one aura damage. Yeah, probably not worth it. Yep, this is a fine time to play that, sort of, except you're going to immediately have it back on top of your turns. Kind of a terrible time to play it. Good in the sense that you have no aura, bad in the sense that now you are uh, still no backdraft targets. Okay, so the initialize effect will be one shadow to distance. And you do not have Inferno, so Vermilion Field is not online. I take it that's Ryan Jr. turn. Getting the wheel trigger, yep, good. Having only one aura is very questionable. The range is still only six, so RZV only has to move up one space. Again, attacking again. Actually, that's not even true, because Miss Bane reaches out to seven. Yep, yeah, Silent Wall seems okay this time. There is a decent chance that your uh, silent approach is broken here. Doesn't really matter. Silent approach was disenchanting next turn anyway. And you're already at range 7, which is well within range. Most of these attacks. Could have focused or moved backward once before applying that. Okay, so you need Inferno Trigger. Get it. Yes, you don't get it.
Okay. On the bright side, Backdraft hasn't lost its target yet. What? This is ridiculous. Why would you? <laughs> oh, okay. You're doing it for two life damage. All right, all right, all right. All right. Wait, did he take life damage from that 1-1? One, one? Oh, that's awful. Okay, of course, he took it on Silent Wall. I forgot that that existed. Alright, now it's 2-2. Two, two. That's just going to go straight into Silent Wall also. I really, really think this use of Abrupt Transformation was terrible. And now what? You Vermillion Field and Bag at Ring. And you have no more attacks, you have a very minor life lead. No, I think this game is already decided. Yeah, on the bright side, you get both of those cards back. I don't think there's any merit in playing. You know you're taking at most two attacks at range 8 next turn, because you know the two cards in Ryan Jr.'s hand. So you may as well just move up twice. Mm, no. I don't agree with this. Even if you move up three times now, you're at range five, which is within range for all of Ryan's attacks. And your payoff is being able to do nothing. Okay, you're not even going to not even going to move forward off of that. Okay. So I guess this lets you theoretically sidestep shot. It's two ones going to life, probably. I can't remember if he has Icebreaker or not. Outclass does nothing here. Okay, Icebreaker at least keeps your... your sound approach alive for a turn. Alright. Yep, Ryan Jr. can't just stay at range like this, though. It's not going to work out for him. Yep, <sighs> Muscle Relaxant kind of keeps Million Field from resurging. I think you just move forward three times. And then you throw your cut down and swing rush out. Maybe just use them to move forward even more.
back draft would be bad here. Thankfully, you're already open umbrella, so you can move backwards. But, uh, I still don't think there's enough going on here. Okay, and then what? Nice. At this point, Black RZV can almost just let you range lock him and win the game anyway. I'm a pretty big fan of move forward, but let's move forward here. <laughs> Ugh, that's very questionable. <laughs> uh, range lot games. Hey, draw one card. Can't play any attacks. Can't resurge Vermilion Field without taking our damage. What? Insane. Insane. Okay, backtrack for the flinch. Not terrible. If you didn't have silent approach in your deck, I would say to take the aura damage from redraw frustration and move forward. <laughs> move forward five now. Then silent approach. Opponent can't do anything. Do a lot. Yep, pull one for more. Do it. I don't do it. Oh, okay. Neither player really trying to end the game here. Okay. Inferno trigger. <laughs> For a single 3 2 that won't hit life. No. Oh. Maybe you should have done that earlier. Oh, but that would have taken you out of your attack range. Bad. It's 
Three, two. Two from Aura, one from Silent Ball. Worst case scenario, you take a 2 1 to life and lose your sound approach. Locking. More range locking, less moving forward. Oh, it's muscle relaxing again. Sure, let's not play attacks. Don't need attacks to win. <laughs> what is this doing? What the fuck? <laughs> Well, you got the Vermilion Field research, so now you're never going to be able to move forward again. Is it time to move forward five yet? Just, just commit to the hand dump, move forward. Eh? Eh? Is it? Yeah. If you get lucky, he won't be able to play the two cards he draws next turn. You won't be able to get the Inferno trigger for Vermilion Field, and you'll be able to keep contesting. This is fine too, right? Oh my god, no, you don't do that. There you go, there you go. No. Yes. Move forward twice. Do it. What? <laughs> Does I play out my hand for one more life damage? You could have played both of those and maybe gotten two life damage. You didn't respect the mist pain. Wouldn't that have been a lot better? Yeah, okay, now you do the 2 1, and if he doesn't respect the kunai, he takes 2 life damage anyway, so it's a big difference. Okay, respecting kunai, good. Wait. What? No. Yeah, okay. Literally, the idea effect was not in there, not that he has no idea. <laughs> okay, holding on to kunai. It's fine at this point, there's nothing your opponent can do. But really, all Black RZP has to do from this point in the game forward is uh, move forward action. Just move forward as much as you can every turn. Making the bold choice to not take any actions on this turn. More poison. Move forward. You can keep both of these cards, but please just start moving forward. <laughs> Alright, fine. I guess there's not a strict reason why you would need to do that. This does research. Cool. Back to after no attacks. Okay, backwards bind. Really feel kind of garbage now. But, yeah, that's right. Okay, suiciding into silent approach. You're going to play muscle relax and also, so Black Cards, if he doesn't have to worry about defending himself next turn when he's got four cards and two vigor. Okay, game's over.
cool. Maybe he'll burr <laughs> once movement backwards. Okay. And we're discarding wield, even though you would have gotten a basic from it anyway. I don't understand this. Oh, he would have had to discard it at the end of the turn, I guess, because he's not playing muscle relax in this. So two forward movements and then out class gets you seven, not enough range to do anything. Two more discards gets you to range six, still not enough range to do anything. Might as well just sit at five aura and wait for your opponents to die at reshuffle. Because they have no attack. They can't do anything to you when you're at five aura. Certainly can't do five life damage to you. In this pass through the deck, you've already won. You just need to sit at five aura. Sit at 5 or I move forward and watch them fall over. Cool. Backdraft has no targets again. You might draw it, I guess. Keep backstep. Won't be in attack range for it, though. Not without moving forward way more than you want to. Hey, a backdraft target. <laughs> Nothing he does matters. There you go. I was confused by that for a second. When the range like a Himika starts moving towards you. One card left in the deck. I think it's over. Just play your silent wall and pass. <laughs> play silent approach and move forward twice. Heck, you can just move forward once. Huh? Play silent approach, move forward once, focus once. GG. Okay, that's fun. Then we move forward once and focus once. Swing rushes, two, two, ones, and Ryan Jr. is very dead. Killing me. Killing me. Two one. Focus. One, two. Not playing around the Yukihi reaction, but I'm pretty sure that all of Brian Jr.'s cards have been revealed and you didn't go for the lethal. I mean, you can lethal that way too, that's fine. <laughs> Could have just misbanged him there. All right. Oh. Yeah. I got nothing more to say.